Hello guys, welcome to Rage Against the Dice. As you've seen from the title of my video today, we are going to be talking about representation, which is something that has been brought up a lot in the media recently, covering a number of different hobby subjects and genres, um, ranging from computer games all the way to movies, stopping off at some of the other things in between. You'll have seen websites like the Huffington Post, You'll have seen articles from Bell of Lost Souls. You'll have seen famous YouTubers giving their take on it. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, Kev's on YouTube. I don't care about Kev's opinion. I really wish he would give me it anyway. And so that's what I'm here to do. Now, there's many different forms of representation. And obviously you guys are wondering, well, what kind of representation does Kevin want to talk about today? But I think you already know what I'm going to say. So, I'm going to count to three. And then at the same time, we can all say it. Seems fair enough. You know, I give you guys a break. We can do it in unison. You guys can do reaction videos. It'll be beautiful. It'll be beautiful. Um, especially if you can sync it up right. So, one, two, three. Left-handed gun-holding representation in Warhammer 40,000. That's right. See, you guys knew exactly what I was going to say. Thumbs up to you guys. Left-handed gun-holding representation. The least represented minority in Warhammer 40,000. Let's take a look at it. Case in point. At the moment, I'm building up my kill team for... Kill team? Yeah. Kill team for kill team. And I'm building up the Reavers, which you saw me unbox previously, hopefully. If you haven't, go check that out. It will be in our section for Kill Team. We have a special folder. This is one of said models. This is actually a fully painted one. You can't tell because of the light here. Go away light. Um, but he's painted as a Sons of Aura model. As you can see, he's holding his weapon in his right hand. Here's two more. Clearly more like my style of model, not painted. They're both holding their guns in their right hand. And we see this across the board on many, many different models. Um, I then got out my Dark Imperium set and I looked at all the models that come in that set. Excluding the guys with the two guns. They're holding one in each hand. There's representation and then there's just forcing two guns in one hand just to be exclusionary. Even Games Workshop wouldn't go that far. All of those models holding guns in their right hand. You see what I mean? Now I know what you're thinking. You're already reaching for that dislike button. You're already in the comments typing your little comment. But Kev, what about the many, many left-handed models that do live in the 40k universe? And you're right. There are many. There's some Imperial Guard models. There's a couple of Eldar models. Orcs. Loads of orc shooters go in the left hand, but it's orcs. I love orcs, you guys know that. But it's orcs. When you look at a poster for Games Workshop, it's usually a space marine. When you play a game, it's usually as a space marine. When you see all these cosplayers, majority of the time, it's an Imperial Guardsman, they're easier to do. But, those who put the effort in, space marine. I want Space Marines with left-handed weapons. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Kev, but that what model you showed earlier, boom. He's holding a gun in his right hand, but he's holding a massive knife in his left hand. This is true. And that's called tokenism. What they've done is, they've gone, well, the good weapon, that goes in the dominant hand. The shoddy weapon, that goes in the left hand. We left-handers are being underrepresented. And I think it's time that it stopped. So what I'd like you all to do is I'd like you to take to Twitter, take to Facebook, take to your social media and use the hashtag left hands matter. Hashtag left hands matter. You can find that in the description below. If you're like me and you take a lot of models and you convert them to have guns in their left hand, like I've done with a lot of my Goliaths for Necromunda, you want to be able to do that without having to hack and chop and file off thumbs and things like that. The models, not your own. So that you can be represented. 
If you have done that though, and you've created a left-handed Goliath holding his big gun in the left hand, feel very, very free to post that on your local Facebook site. I suggest Blackjack Legacies, Underground Paintings, The Dark Artisans, I Dig Beers, to name but a few. If there's any I missed out, it's not because I don't like you, it's because I've got a tiny, tiny little memory that's full of stupid Warhammer-based facts that nobody really needs. Post it up there using that hashtag, as I said, left hands matter. So guys, I think from the very few points that I've made today and my very weak straw man argument, you can completely see what I mean. And left-handed people should be represented more in 40k based media. That being said, thank you for taking the time to watch this. So obviously I was messing around just there. <laughs> if any of you took that seriously. But the actual purpose of the video is a channel update because obviously our channel has been stagnating for a while and the reason for that's going to become clear in what I call the excuses phase. So this is about like a game, um, any tabletop game really, you had phase one, idiot phase, phase two, excuses phase, phase three, explanation phase, or what's coming next phase. So here's your excuses phase. Excuse number one. It's the summer holidays. I can barely get time to myself. Um, my kids have discovered Power Rangers. Yep, they're at that age. So I've got a three-year-old and a 10-year-old who basically torture me all day long. In fact, if I can make it through a single day without someone calling me Goldar and punching me in the nuts, I'm a happy dad. Second, two. Um, Alan, I'm sure he wouldn't mind me telling you this since I'm not gonna ask his permission, but Alan's been buying a house. Um, and there's been a lot of stress and house-based buying business involved in that. So he hasn't really been able to come and game. Excuse number three, um, with regards to painting and things like that, it's been beyond hot. As you guys know, there's been a bit of a heat wave in the UK, which probably isn't that hot for everywhere else in the world. But for us, it was basically the sun. It was like living in the sun. And I've had as many fans as I could physically point on my robust frame. So at any one time, it sounded like several Apache helicopters trying to make out. I assume that's really loud. I don't know. They'd get excited. It would spin. It makes sense in my head. Uh, so it's been really loud. So I couldn't really do any painting videos. And then lastly, I've just had a lot of commission work on. Now... I'm not the best painter in the world. I'll fully accept that. But I am very good at getting things to a tabletop standard at a reasonably quick speed. So a lot of the commissions that I get sent or that I take on actually involve painting large armies. So a lot of Kings of War armies, which is how I ended up getting into Kings of War because I started painting other people's stuff and then I wanted stuff and it went so on and so on. It's a lot of regiment stuff and it's a lot of like Marines. So it's a lot of the same thing over and over again and it wouldn't make for a very interesting video. Here's me painting 30 salamanders. Um, I have a 40k or fancy, huge pick. Um, and so that's why I haven't done any videos on that. So now that the excuses phases are out of the way, we can get on with where the channel's going moving forward. So Rumble Slam is back, as you guys will have noticed. We've started to film more, and we're also going to teach some of the guys from Some Guys in a Filthy Mage, link in the description below, how to play as well. So we've got some more people, so we can do some three and four-way matches, as well as just get a variety of commentary on the game. And because those guys are actual gamers... Not like us idiots, me and Alan, who tend to draw penises on things and giggle a lot. Like, like overexcited toddlers, I guess is probably the best way. You'll actually get some decent strategy and gameplay from those guys, as opposed to just mocking Alan from when we play. Um, and speaking of, obviously, some guys in a filthy mage, they're getting up their drop fleets painted, so there'll be some drop fleet games going on. And it brings me towards the one we get asked the most questions about, which is Necromunda. Now, I love Necromunda. Um, Alan likes Necromunda because I forced him to. Um, Sparks, who is the mage 
from some guys in a filthy mage. He really likes Necromon and he's got a load of gangs on the go. Uh, Vince has some Vansars. Um, and I think the other guys are going to get their own thing. But the reason you haven't done anything with Necromunda yet is because we're waiting until all the Gang Wars books are out. Because at the minute, there are some that contradict each other and some that proceed. And it's irritating. So once we've got all the books, we've got the six main starter gangs and then the couple of White Dwarf things, we can really start getting running. And with that, we're also going to try and get some others involved. So what we want to do is run a big campaign style game so when you guys watch us play what you'll actually be watching is narrative um, and there's some meaning and stuff to it so that's kind of what we're hoping to do with Necromunda so it is coming back but the reason it isn't at the moment is because we're waiting for Delac and the final Gang Wars books and stuff um, oh don't get me wrong I'm pretty confident Games Workshop are going to churn out more Gang Wars books for when they release like the Redemptionist, Ratskins etc etc um, but that's why. Similarly with Blood Bowl as well. Now, Blood Bowl kind of stagnated from Games Workshop for a while where we didn't get any releases, but now we're getting a steady stream. Um, you got Elves, then Dark Elves, Chaos. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Um, now Nurgle. Hopefully we'll get my beloved vampires soon. Um, fingers crossed. So once some more teams come out and we've got enough where everybody can be using a different team that they want to use... So it's not a case of, oh, look, you you know, there's loads of teams out, which there are now. There's multiple teams out. But if, like, the guys we've got playing don't like said teams, then it's just them playing to make the videos. And that's not what our channel's ever been about. It's always been about we play games and have fun, and we happen to film them. Now, we don't sit down and go, right, well, this needs to be like this. Blah, 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 blah. You know me. Jabber, jabber, jabber. <clears throat> But yeah, so All Out War, Walking Dead, will be coming. I've got a big stack of stuff to do unboxings of, which includes some of the Walking Dead expansions, Strontium Dog by Warlord and Rebellion, for obviously 2000 AD franchise, um, some Doctor Who All Out, uh, not Doctor Who All Out War, Doctor Who Time Vortex, loads of unboxing stuff for that. I've also got some more Kill Team stuff, um, and some other bits and bobs. We've still got... Um, three different uh, Necromunda gangs to unbox yet. So there's a lot of unboxings and stuff that are going to be coming in the near future on the show. Um, but yeah, guys, so it was just to, you know, do a stupid video to start with. And then obviously just to let you guys know that you've supported us, obviously, for a year and a half-ish now. And, you know, we're coming up to, I think it's 640 subscribers, which is way more than we ever thought we were going to get. Now, is our channel growing at the speed that it could? No. And that's purely my fault. I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it and go, oh, well, it's this and that. It's because I haven't been putting out enough content. And that's hopefully going to change. If you've been following over the last few days or last few weeks, we've certainly put out more. And that trend's going to continue. It won't be every day. It hopefully will be every other day, but we're going to get to a point where we're getting a steady, steady stream of content. I should really learn to talk. But yeah, so we're going to have a steady stream of content on the go. I know there's a lot of people who want to see us cover some more historical stuff. We're going to be definitely doing some more Old West style stuff, which will be both Legends of the Old West by Games Workshop and Mark Latham more specifically. And of course, Tombstone by Black Scorpion Miniatures. Um, that's it. It's a good rule book. We've covered it before, but it's, it's not an easy one to do a how to play video on. So we're working how we're going to do that. We've got some how to play videos for things like Savage Core and 7TV coming soon. Um, 7TV once filmed, I just need to edit and Savage Core, I just need to get the models painted up to finish off the how to play. So guys, take the comments below. Give us some feedback on what you want to see. Any of the games we cover that we haven't done how to play videos on that you would like to see. If you want to see more painting stuff, let us know. If you want to see more of the Alan's Journey blog stuff, let us know with that. I know the um, Tale of Two Idiots kind of ground will halt because of the Alan being busy stuff. Um, and I know I get a lot of messages about it. I will finally finish the part two video on how to paint your blood letters to look like Balrogs for my... 
uh, Chaos Demon Army, that's the one, which I'm going to use for both Age of Sigma and 40k. Bit sad that demons aren't in Kill Team, but I also kind of understand it. Um, but yeah, that it makes me sad. So guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Please take the time to like this. Obviously, if you didn't like the joke thing at the beginning, feel free to give us a thumbs down. I completely get it. Um, I was obviously making light of a lot of the internet drama that you see these days. Um, but yeah, then leave us a comment. If it's your first time checking us out, please go and have a check at some of our other videos. Maybe some content will grab you and you'll consider subscribing. Help us push forward towards that thousand. Um, and it's not a monetization thing. Obviously, we would get monetized again if we got back up to, if we got to a thousand. Because we've got really long hours of watch time. Thanks for that, guys. Those who do watch, tend to watch till the end, which... I uh, thank you for, um, but yeah, it's, you know, if our content grows, then it obviously gives us a bigger incentive to film more stuff. Um, it's always exciting to watch that subscriber count go up. So thank you very much for your time today, guys. Hit the little bell for notifications and pray the dice cards and hope they smile upon you.